Zen 5 might be releasing early, more GPUs are getting banned, and the 4090 Ti surfaces yet again. Let's talk about it. Before that, this video is brought to you by VIPCDKDeals.com. CDK Deals is a website dedicated to getting you the best prices on games and software, and right now you can get a Windows 10 Pro OEM key for an insanely low price. Just find the best price and apply my special discount code GPC20 for an additional 30% off. You can also check out securely with PayPal, and once the payment is cleared, you should get access to the code both in your account as well as in your email. In order to activate the new copy of Windows 10, just search Activate Under Windows and type in your key. So if you want to learn more, be sure to click the link in the description below. Okay, so remember how the RTX 4090 was going out of stock everywhere because it was getting banned in China? Well, it looks like unfortunately a similar situation could be happening again very soon. Now this time it's not going to actually affect the RTX 4090, so the ripple effects might be, well, less important to those of us who are in the good old US of A. However, it could still impact the sales and distribution of the RTX 4090 depending on how severe this is. So if you've been on the sidelines considering buying an RTX 4090, while well, right now might not be the absolute best time to buy one, considering the 5090 you might be releasing at the end of this year, well, I will have some Amazon affiliate links in the description below if you're nervous about something happening. Though do be aware, it's possible that the pricing and availability could stay the same, so don't panic too much. Now, that being said, this information is coming from videocards.com as it looks like the RTX 4090D is indeed gonna get banned. As you can see here in an image, there has been an update over on the Department of Commerce. Now, this was originally found by Olrak over on Twitter, and according to video cards, it looks like, quote, as reported by Ice Steel, the updated regulations now mandate a licensing requirement for components as well as computers that surpass 70 teraflops of compute performance. And as you can see in that screenshot, yes, the RTX 4090D does indeed slightly pass that 70 teraflop number. Now, the RTX 4090D is technically using the same silicon as the RTX 4090, so if this ban goes into effect or is possibly going to happen, well then the RTX 4090D could end up being purchased by everyone in China and completely sold out in fear of the potential ban looming. Now, that being the case, that could actually restrict the supply of the RTX 4090 as well. It just depends on how these things are being sent all over the world. So here's hoping that nothing happens to RTX 4090 supply, but hey, we'll see. Now, the next bit of information actually does regard an RTX 4090 Ti. Now, this thing has been rumored for some time, and it would be significantly faster than the RTX 4090. It would be the fully unlocked GPU with a total of 144 SMs versus the 128 that we see on the current RTX 4090. It would also likely have slightly higher clock speeds and a slightly higher power target, meaning that overall, you'd probably expect to be anywhere between 10 and 20% faster on the RTX 4090 Ti versus the RTX 4090. And as you can see here with all these images, this GPU would have been absolutely massive, at least on the Founders Edition. It looks like a four slot behemoth with a ton of different display outs. And this does appear to be potentially the rumored 600 watt variant of the RTX 4090. Thank God we didn't get something that insane, though at the same time, time. I would have liked to see how far they could push the full 4090 silicon. So we'll see whether or not this does end up actually coming out, but it looks like if it does end up releasing, it is going to be a very powerful and power hungry GPU. And the final bit of news I want to bring to you guys today has to do with Zen 5. And now we just talked about Zen 5, but there's a lot of new information about these CPUs releasing every single day. This time it looks like we have an update on the release date. And yes, it's very exciting as it sounds like it could actually be occurring far, far sooner than we originally thought. This once again comes from the website videocards.com. And if we take a look at this information here, what you're gonna see is that, well, apparently Asus has actually released a BIOS update, which does support the new Ryzen 9000 series CPUs. Now, if this ends up being true, well, if we take a look at past releases, it looks like about three months after BIOS releases, typically the CPUs themselves will release. Now, we do also know that Computex 2024 is happening on June 4th, 
of this year, which is just about two months away from now, which means that, yeah, they could actually be announcing the Zen 5 Ryzen 9000 series CPUs in just a couple of months with availability likely happening, well, only around a month, maybe two months after that, which is way, way sooner than I was originally expecting. Now, of course, this could end up not being true and we could still be seeing them closer to the end of the year, but history does point towards it being a possibility that the release date has been moved up significantly and within three months potentially you could be getting your hands on some new Ryzen 9000 series CPUs and just as an update guys the last bit of information we saw was pointing towards the Ryzen 9000 series potentially being up to 40% faster than the Ryzen 7000 series and the X3D models could potentially be even faster than that releasing maybe by the end of this year so really exciting stuff especially considering that they're going to be potentially moving to that new ladder cache structure on the Ryzen 9000 series to reduce the latency. I think overall these CPUs are going to be a massive leap in terms of performance and latency. So here's hoping that it is true that within two to three months, we will start to see some information and potentially the release of some Ryzen 9000 series CPUs. But hey, that's just what I think. Do you think that you'll really be able to purchase a Ryzen 9000 series CPU within just three months of today? Or do you think that's far too optimistic and it's probably going to be like four to six months? Let me know your guys thoughts in the comments below and of course i'll see you in the next video if you made it to the end of the video be sure to drop a like every time you do so amd and nvidia release new gpus also if you want to see more check out one of these related videos you won't be disappointed